Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of our Big Bang build series in The Sims 4. Today we are working on Sheldon and Leonard's apartment. We've already done Penny's apartment and I will leave that one down below. So let me show you what I've done so far. So I've done the floor plan. I've done the layout of the different rooms. I think sizing wise, this is pretty accurate. The only thing that's a little bit uh, hard to do in The Sims is this kind of area here because the walls just snap. So the main room is this space here. We have the couch, the armchairs here. We're going to do the kitchen against this wall, the office on the back here, and then lots of books, another desk over on this side here. And then there's a platform up the hallway. You have Sheldon and Leonard's room and their bathroom. Good. So let's get started with the, oh, let's start with this main living space. Maybe let's start with the, let's start with the bookshelf back here. I'm just going to scooch this over here. I do want to get the DNA structure right in this crack here. But what are we going to use to recreate this object? I don't think nothing specific comes to mind. We're going to have to get creative. Maybe a sculpture? A DNA model I created for my Warner Brothers project, the Big Bang Theory set. Okay, someone on the gallery called Shane has actually created this DNA model. No way is this actually going to work. Oh! <gasps> You are freaking joking. Shane, you are an icon. Oh my God, they're yarn balls. Wait, that is actually the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. So if we just move this entire room, okay, we can't have it perfect, but that's all right. It wants to snap. We can do it there. I am absolutely in awe. I might change it then, so we might do the door there. Yeah, I might have to change it because it obviously, it snaps into very specific places. So we're gonna just swap the door over and have that in front of the, the closet and then the bookshelf against this wall. That is so cool. For bookshelves, we need it to be really, really cluttered. So I'm thinking we go with something that's pre, pre-cluttered, maybe this. These ones from Growing Together are absolutely perfect. So we can do that. We've double stacked two next to each other. So we have more books uh, side by side. Still two more bookshelves. We have a smaller one over here on the left. It is kind of, oh yes. Kind of a little bit more makeshift in a dark, perfect, in a slightly darker, slightly darker wood. So we can do that one there. I'm struggling to find any whiteboards in the game. We only have this one, the family bulletin board from Parenthood. So we'll squeeze this one next to these bookshelves and then this random cork board, I guess that'll have to do. Maybe I'll find something in, in the artwork section that works better. Behind the door, I'm gonna do the dark board. I wish we had a few more options for these actually. Like even just the circular one on its own, I feel like would be a lot better. Nope, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna do this one actually, this one. Yeah, that fits fine right there actually. Oh no, the line of this. Okay, it might be covered by the carpet. Okay, so the carpet and the couch orientation, I'm pretty sure it's just like straight from the bookshelf. Uh, this does not need to be the final sofa. I just wanted to place a brown leather three seater sofa so we can filter by that. There are a few pillows actually, and the blanket isn't bad. We have had a lot of brown leather sofas recently, so we should have a few different options. <gasps> this one, this one from the ranch, horse ranch. We have this one, that one's not quite right, too industrial. Okay, this plain one, which doesn't come in a darker, darker brown, but that's actually not too bad color-wise. Ooh, which brown is it most similar to? It is kind of more like a, a reddish orange brown. I think that one's too dark. You know what? I kind of like this back one because it has pillows and blankets. Yep, let's do it. Let's do this one. For armchair, I think I have a custom content one that is absolutely perfect. It's really wide and it looks very comfortable. This, yes, that's exactly the, the one that I was thinking of. Okay, round glass table. That's gonna be tricky. I might have one custom content. All right, that's fine. This will have to do. I think we'll go with the darker legs. Have it like this. Got the new chair from Horse Ranch with the armrest. I think that's perfect. Now let's get the carpet. So I think we might need to double stack the carpets here. So we're gonna start with, oh, this is good. Or this one, which, Mm, actually, that one's a little better because it still has the the vertical lines on it, but it's uh, not as textured, not as distracting. So I have the blue carpet and then in the middle, I think we can have maybe another one of those horse ranch carpets that surprise, surprise, I use in every build and it fits a little smaller on here. What do we think of this? 
Oh, I really wish this wasn't showing. I'm tempted to delete it. I'm tempted to delete it. It's too distracting. I found another good option. This one is the Tiny Traveler's Rug. It's custom content. That one's also really nice. It's a little more muted than this, which is a bit bright. Okay, you know what? Because I always do this horse ranch rug, I think I'm gonna do this now. So let's do, actually, let's do the kitchen next. Okay, so we're gonna go with this kind of orangey wood, same as this bookshelf for the counters. Just placing the counters now, I think I'm gonna try to see if we can squeeze this fridge on the end here in this direction, which is slightly more accurate to the floor plan. So let's see if we can squeeze that in there. No, that's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. Okay, or, 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 or we, just scooch this way. Wait, that's not too bad. That, no, that is that is not too bad at all. I don't even think the kitchen goes this far, so we can maybe have it to here, put a closing piece on the end. Hallway's a little strange. I think it probably doesn't cut off and it's not really that shape, but let's go with this. I think this, this uh, makes a little bit more sense. So then we can do the oven, the sink. We gotta have the, our bar stools. We can even try to hang some, this could be interesting. We could try to hang some like pots and pans down the sides because there's no wall that it will automatically snap to. I think this might work. Oh my God, yes! We are finding pots and pans and we were gonna squeeze them in between and it, it works. It works absolutely perfectly. This is a really, really good little um, hack that I'm gonna remember to do. So we can just push these maybe there and have these in cold. Yay, that looks really cool. We can hang other things then. I'm pretty sure we can do, what else do we have? These kinds of things maybe? Yeah, size that down and shove it up. Have it there. Oh my God, that looks so realistic. So I've just gone ahead and added two desks, two chairs. I think I'm gonna, I don't know how tall these cabinets are either side, but I'm just gonna put small ones because then when, I, when I'm when i like in this angle, you can actually see the uh, rest of the apartment. And then we have a, a table right by the door on this side. And then obviously loads of clutter, loads of artwork on their walls. That's a very important part. I added the furniture in this area here as well. Oh, we have to do the, the blue curtain. Two sets of blue curtains done. And then I think now we're ready to move on to the clutter, which I'm so excited for. Let's do the office space first. I need to do the telescope. And I am so happy that finally we have a normal sized one in the game. Just gonna shove it right behind the, the chair like that. On top, we have a chessboard just on this smaller table right here, which I'm hoping I can maybe size. Oh, we could actually do a chessboard here. Ooh. Oh, hold up. What if we were to make, oh yes, yes. It literally fits right in the middle. I'm just going through and adding some desk clutter, but I found this object from Everyday Clutter Kit, which is a little better. It's actually a chessboard, and then on top, there's just a bunch of paperwork and books and stuff. I think that's a little better. Okay, then we are trying to make an organized mess over here by the office. So I have a couple of boxes down on the side. Okay, here we go. Some organized desk clutter. And then the fun part is that actually in debug, we have a bunch of space artwork, which I think we can place kind of down the trim of the windows. The gallery again comes through and saves the day. Abstract waffles on the gallery has saved all of the hidden space prints that are in debug. <gasps> Yay! If you size them down, you can then place them on the on the actual windows. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That's exactly the kind of thing that we, that transforms this into the Big Bang Theory apartment. I think we could do a few more, but I wanna save these for other places around the apartment. Like definitely a few scattered around here. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you know what we need to do? The, <laughs> the Alienware computer, which I, I do have an alien. Hang on, where, where's my alien set? I think I deleted it, or maybe it's this. Oh, it's there, it's right there. Okay, there's a one too many monitors, but it's the, I feel like we kind of have to make it happen. To fill in the rest of the gallery wall, I'm gonna take a different type of poster, not the space ones. We could do mm, maybe like things like this, TV show. Yeah, there you go, TV movie posters. Game, yeah, there you go, I think that's good. Gaming stuff. Um, okay, a couple more files and documents. Let's get them up here. Okay, there you go. I think that's good. So this is Leonard's and then Sheldon's has just a couple books on it. And we have a 
uh, garbage down the side. Yes, I think that's good. Uh, over here, I actually just wanna do something with keys. Okay, there you go. Just some clutter on the table, movie poster above it, and just some random uh, bits and bobs around. I think that's this side of the room done. I like how the desks look. Okay, so then let's do, uh, let's do this wall here because th there's a lot going on on this side. There is a lot of clutter um, and a lot of stuff stacked on top of the bookshelf. Okay, there is a lot of books especially and a couple of collectibles and figures. So I'm just gonna stack, I don't have a shelf. You know what, I think I need my red shelf for this. Let's get my red OMSP shelf, which is amazing because it has like, I don't know, hundreds of different um, clutter slots on it. And then you could just go and place things. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use these, these creatures as our action figures because I don't think there's anything really else in the game that looks as cool. Because we also need to do an entire row up here. Yeah, that's fun, let's do these. I have to be honest, I haven't got a clue where to find these in the actual game. I have no idea where and how you play with them, where they come from. All right, there you go. That's the best that we're gonna get. So those are our collectibles up there. A couple more things down here. Just a couple more things on top of that bookshelf, books, more Journey to Batu stuff and some space artwork. Okay, now let's move on to this here, which, okay, there's a Rubik's Cube in the corner here. There's also a lot of books and magazines. The tissue box, not quite as cool, but let's go with it in dark green maybe. But at least it's a square. Uh, okay, I think that's it actually in this area here. Oh, there's there's something behind the door. There's there's something behind the door. I'm running out of cool movie posters. Oh, we could do this. We could do the plum bob. Oh no, let's do this one. Let's do this. The, the Tetris. Okay, for the kitchen, I've just moved the these pots and pans. Let's maybe move them over to to there. Then in front here is another whiteboard, but oh, I'm really. I'm really limited on whiteboard options. Are we gonna have to do another one of these? So I'm going through and finding some good stuff to add to the kitchen, including these postcards, which, I mean, we have a combination of ones from My Little Pet Stuff and I think the base game, but I'm just gonna scatter these around on the fridge. Also in Parenthood under, I think it's actually just debug, so you might just need to do maybe show all. <gasps> yes, these. They're called the blank things. And if you rate, they're actually kind of like in the floor. If you raise them up using your nine key, then you have a bunch of different kind of post-it notes, sticky notes that look really good on your fridges. Nice, I love I love little details like that just to add a bit of, a bit of realism. Uh, okay, so our kitchen is pretty much done. I've just added just a few things. Just scattered a couple bits of clutter. I want it to be fairly messy. What we also need to do is get a bunch of takeout and pizza and, can we get a pizza? Yes, get a bunch of takeout and pizza stuff. Yeah, perfect. All right, I think that is our kitchen, main living room, dining room finished. Okay, so let's do the hallway. I've added some artwork. I have a sconce here. I think we can add a few more bits of artwork on the sides. Let's start with, let's start with the bathroom. Okay, so unfortunately we are not gonna be able to find the periodic, oh, do we have the periodic table in The Sims 4? I kind of assume that we don't. Wait, there's a science career in Get to Work. Surely we have something with periodic table on it. Nope, okay, that's a shame, we don't. So we, the best we're gonna get, I think, is maybe this with a shower curtain, um, and maybe a shower curtain with some color on it. Let's just do the blue lines. We'll do this one. So the floor plan of the bathroom is like this with the toilet on the left in the corner here. Then we have a wall that divides the shower and then the entrance. And then the sink is kind of tucked into this corner here, but the, I don't know why the lighting's gone all strange. Oh, it was the it was the cabinet. It was that specific, and there, that was weird. It was that specific sink that was just going all funny. So we're gonna use, I think that one's good. And then we can do a, a mirror above it. We got a colorful stripey rug in the bathroom. And then of course, lots more, lots more movie posters. It's actually kind of a laundry basket here. Okay, there you go. That's not too bad. We just added some blinds, some uh, other bits of stuff, laundry, artwork above there. Okay, good. I'm glad that everything fits. It's quite a big bathroom as well. Then moving on to their bedrooms. Let's do Leonard's bedroom first. So I think Leonard, Leonard's bed is very similar to this. Is the window here? 
I think the window is here. An ottoman. Oh yes, we got a nice colorful ottoman right in front of the bed. Exactly these colors. We have a similar kind of gallery wall of artwork above here. I've just also filtered by get to work because we have a lot of other cool space artwork. Two bedside tables which are different. We have two different bedside tables. Okay, then in this corner is just a plain chair, just like that. There's also another red carpet in Leonard's room, like this, and it, it's kind of got nice complementary colors to the ottoman, so I think those two look good together. All right, I think that is Leonard's room done. I really like it. Okay, moving on to Sheldon's room. So Sheldon's room, we see it a lot from this angle, so I might need to put the walls up, and then there is a lot of different bookshelves up on this side. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna do the wardrobe there. Okay, so we have some beige curtains either side. Oh, there is a cream carpet I'm seeing now. I think we can use this carpet maybe? Oh yeah, that's the perfect fit. Yes. Um, okay, then there's actually like a row of boxes, very neat and organized in here. So I'm just gonna take these boxes and maybe do them sideways. That looks good. So this is Sheldon's room with all the clutter. I like the beige carpet, added some stuff to the bedside table. Kinda wanna do the tray with a laptop on it. There is actually a way that you can do a laptop. <gasps> Oh my god, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so this is the same desk from Growing Together, except I actually have the laptop on another desk under the bed that I've sized down. And then we have the original Growing Together desk, but sized down once or twice and then just raised up. And that looks like a tray. It looks like a tray that's on the, on the bed. Oh my god, I'm so happy with how that turned out. Oh my god, that's all of the rooms done. I can delete this space our space room. So I'd love to know what you all think of our second Big Bang Theory apartment. Let me know if you preferred pennies or you think of this one is more accurate. It's so much fun trying to recreate all of the different details in The Sims using what we have available to us. But I hope you have enjoyed these two Big Bang Theory videos and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.